Hi there, my name's Vince from MyMateVince.com and in this video today we're going to be trying to set up a mobile broadband connection and this video is aimed at beginners, those of you that have never done this before and you might be curious about it. So I'm around my brother's house at the moment and for him this is a necessity because he hasn't got cable broadband in his area, the roads haven't been dug up. So he's relying on broadband coming through the old telephone wires. And unfortunately, he hasn't got fibre to the green street boxes. So he's relying on old-fashioned ADSL and he lives a long, long, long way away from the telephone exchange. And the speeds he, he's getting are awful. There's about three or four megabits per second. And he's got a family living here, so it's just completely unusable for him. Mobile broadband is a necessity. Now, he's already been set up with mobile broadband for quite a while, but he's changed providers now, and he's got himself a really good deal. So it wasn't that long ago where you had to pay a fortune for data, or they used to cap the amount you could do. Sometimes you would go through that in a few days, and then you're left without internet for the rest of the month. But now, with three, he's managed to get an unlimited data plan for a mobile router. We call it a router in the UK. Other parts of the world, you will know it as a router. He's managed to get this for £15 a month, and that's on a two-year contract. And that's unlimited data, so he can use this as much as he wants, which is really, really fantastic. So that's what this video is going to be about. Setting up the router, putting in the SIM card, trying it in a couple of different locations around the house, doing speed tests to see where the best speed is, and then at the end of the video, we're actually going to connect it to he's got external aerials, which is always going to give you the best signal, because obviously the aerial's already outside, and you can align it in the perfect position. So uh, yeah, let's get started. This has never been set up before. This is a completely new contract, so it'd be exactly the same as you going out and buying it from three or whoever your service provider is, and then just working through the stages. Hopefully, it'd be nice and straightforward. Let's get started. This is a Huawei 4G Router 3 Pro, and the model number of this particular one is B535-232. Now, they actually include this in with the £15 a month, which is, uh, which is really good, because these routers cost around about £100 here in the UK, so uh, it's pretty good. That looks like a little stand, and we've got the power supply here. The power supply is a 12 volt 1 amp. So this looks all straightforward enough. So that's going to clip in to here. Okay, and then it's going to be stood up like that. Right, let's get the SIM card and let's pop the SIM card in. So the slot for the SIM card is just down here. And if you have a look, can you see that they've taken away one of the corners there? So you know the exact way to put the SIM card in. On the back of it, we've got our power supply that goes in here. And we've got four LAN ports. And the last LAN port here is also labelled up as WAN as well. And this is going to be the SSID here, the Wi-Fi name. I've covered up all the other details. So we've got our SIM card here. Let's pop it out. And if you have a look, there's three different sizes on the SIM card. We've got the mini size, which is the biggest one. We have the micro size, which is the medium one. And the nano size is the small one. And on this one here, it's going to be taking the middle size. There we go. Like that. Okay, and now remember, looking closely, we've got the corner cut off there, so we're just going to be using the corner like that there, pushing it inwards like that, and then just slotting it until it clicks into place. There we go. It's a little bit fiddly, you've got to use your nail, but you can hear it just clicking. Then when you want to take it out, you just press it to take it out. Like that, in, and out. Right, so now simply all we're going to do is plug in the power supply and then we're going to try a few different locations in the house. So I think to begin with we're going to put it on maybe the windowsill at the front of the property and then try the one at the back. Chances are upstairs rooms will, could well give better reception because remember this is communicating with mobile masts. So wherever your mast is in the area it would be best to have this facing that and then using the Wi-Fi from here to that. Or remember you can use the Ethernet connections from here to your equipment like PCs and stuff to get you the best possible speeds. So let's get this plugged in. 
So to begin with, we've just got it at the front of the property and it's just there. So let's turn it on and let's see how long it takes to actually boot itself up. All right, so there we go, we've got a load of lights coming on. So this is a power light here. This is the light for the external signal coming in. This is a Wi-Fi light, this is the ethernet light and this is the signal strength light. So I'm hoping that maybe that will start flashing and then we'll have a signal strength in a little while. So I think rather than just sat here waiting for it, let me time how long it takes and then I'll start filming again. When Oh, here we go, it's doing something now. Right, well, it looks like it's doing something there. I think I'll just fast forward through this bit. Right, now it's turned to red. Okay, and now it's gone to blue and we have three, it was at four bar signal, now we've got three. So even without doing speed tests, this is a good little indication to see. So you could try moving this to different parts of the house to see if you get a stronger signal. And that's even easier than doing speed tests. Right, so what I'm gonna do now is, I'm gonna, hopefully that's connected, I'm gonna show you now how to connect up a laptop, so that will be using the SSID at the back and also the password. And I'm also going to show you how you can connect up a mobile phone, for example, using the QR code at the back. So I've covered up most of the details at the back, but you can see here, just under here, there is a little QR code. So for me, I'm going to be peeling off that now and using my smartphone to connect to that. And hopefully it will save me having to enter in the password. So let's see how easy it connects up to my phone. So I'm just going to lay it flat. I'm going to open up my camera and I'm going to point it straight at the QR code. And it says here, tap here to connect to the Huawei B535E2E5 network. So I'm going to tap here and let's see now if it's going to connect. And sure enough, it is connected up here. Connected. I am now connected. As simple as that. So let's just do a little test on here. So let's stand this up. And I'm just going to go to speedtest.net. Right, so just doing a speed test on it. Right, so uh, yeah, very poor. I was expecting it to be much better than that, but let's play around with the location. Also, it is a Sunday, so there's gonna be a lot of people using the network, and as well as that, the weather isn't great today. That, all these things are gonna play uh, a part in it, because remember, it's not running down a wired network. But anyway, look, let's not worry about that at the moment. We First of all, just turn this on. We can mess around now, put it in different locations in the house to try to get a better speed. Before we do that, though, let's, uh, connect up the little laptop, and hopefully when we do it via the laptop, I'll show you a different way of connecting up, and also we can check the upload speed as well. So to connect to a laptop, this one's running Windows 10, we need to go down to that little symbol there, and at the moment it says not connected, connections are available. So we're just gonna left click on that, and it's gonna bring up all the networks in the area. Now obviously you don't wanna be connecting to your neighbor's network, you need to connect to your own one. So you need to find the SSID of your particular router and if you have a look here it's down as Wi-Fi name and we've got it there you can see it's B535E2E5 so all we have to do is find that on here and you can see in this instance it's the top one because it's the one with the strongest signal so I'm going to click on it and then it's going to ask me for a password so I'm just going to take off connect automatically because uh, you would leave that on this is just there uh, I'm using this laptop just for testing I'm going to go to connect and now it says enter the network security key. So the one I need to enter now is on this particular one is where it says Wi-Fi password. So I've covered it up. So I'm just going to uncover that off camera and whatever it's written in here, I'm going to write in here and then it should connect. So let's go to now next. And it says verifying and connecting. And there we go. We are now connected. And if you have a look down the bottom now, you can see We've got a little Wi-Fi symbol down there. So let's do another little speed test and see what we're getting on this little laptop. So similar download speed, let's see what the upload speed is. Yeah, so there we have it, very poor download and upload, not good at all. So now what we're gonna do is let's try locating this in a different place. We're now in the kitchen and it's going between four and five. So I'm just gonna do another speed test here. Oh, look at the difference now. 
There we go, check out the difference there, 21 megabits per second. So now, that's a usable connection, just from moving it from one location to another, and we're not even near a window at the moment, we're just in a kitchen. So this is interesting, we've got four bars here, but when I do a speed test, it's 13 megabits per second. And we're at the top of the house now, this is an aloft conversion, so you would expect this to have the best reception. And it just turns out that in this instance, so far the best reception has been in the middle of the house, on the ground floor, in the kitchen, which you would think would be the worst connection. So it really is worth playing around with the location to get the best possible one. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna connect this under the stairs using the external aerials. I'll show you them now. And let's see now, it might not give us the best speed, but hopefully it will definitely give us the more stable connection. Right, so if you wanted to take it a step further, my brother now has done an external aerial, which you can see here. This is omnidirectional, so basically it doesn't really have to be pointing in any direction. It's picking up the signal from a wide range there. We have two cables coming out of it from the X and Y plate, and they go down here, they go down the wall, and across, and they go into his understairs cupboard. But if you're interested in this, I have actually done a much more detailed video on this setup quite a while ago now, so I'll link to that in the description down below. So just before we put the router in its final resting place, you can obviously connect up an ethernet cable to your devices as well. You don't have to rely on Wi-Fi. So now we have the laptop here, Ethernet cable and we have four ports at the back here. It doesn't matter which one you use. I'm just going to plug it into port number one. I'm just going to put the camera down a second. So it just plugs into here with the tab on the side up. And that is as simple as that. If you have a look at the front now, we're going to have in a little minute here. Can you see that that one is now flashing because it's indicated that we've got a network cable plugged in. And now if you have a look over here, it says that it's picked up the network here. So now we can just use this laptop via a wired cable. A wired cable is going to be better than a, a Wi-Fi connection. So now we're under the stairs and as you can see it's all set up and look at that, five lights for the signal. So hopefully this will give the most stable, might not be the quickest, but the most stable connection. And also you can see the ethernet's connected as well because on the back of here everything's been connected up. So if you have a look, these are the two going off to the aerial, the X and Y. They're just behind a little blanking plate that you just unclip and you screw these into it. We've got power going in there and then we've got all the ethernet ports coming out of there. Now if you ever want to run more ethernet cables, there's not a problem. Just install yourself a little network switch. You can get them very cheaply. £20, £30 will get you a very good one and then you can expand the ports because you just go from one of the outputs here into one here and then it will liven up all the other ports. So now let's go over to the PC and then finish off on a speed test. Let's see what it's gonna come up as. There you go, nice uh, straight away, nice strong signal coming in there. So if you're thinking about doing this to, as a cheaper option, away from maybe cable broadband or fibre broadband, I personally wouldn't because I think those broadbands will give you a better connection. But a lot of people haven't got that choice, in which case you see mobile broadband will definitely give you a usable service. Obviously it's going to depend upon your network provider in the area you live. So you might be with three in the UK and it might give you good, you might go with another one and it might not, so you might need to swap it around a bit. Also what you need to remember is every single device that you've had on Wi-Fi will now have to be changed over to your new router, you know, the SSID and also the password will need to be changed on those devices. But it's not, it's not a big hassle to do, and I think most people will be well in their comfort zone doing this. So if you enjoyed it, please give it a big thumbs up, and please subscribe for more how-to videos. Take care. Bye now.